the elevation is is brutal. It's it's unbelievable. You know, it's not something that uh, we do very often this high. So it's uh, it's a little daunting. I won't, I'm not gonna lie. Are you guys gonna uh, set a hard pace? Uh, we're just gonna follow the pace. Yeah, yeah. I think this is gonna be the first half of the race is gonna be just staying on a, uh, staying on the pace. Yeah. We had some wicked headwinds, but we also had some really favorable tailwinds too. Like going up uh, Turquoise Lake was a, a tailwind. That was that was as easy as that's ever been, and it wasn't easy. Um, and then the Boulevard at the end had a nice tailwind too. It was a really fun race. I mean, it stayed together basically to Twin Lakes feed zone. But it wasn't like last year. I mean, Lance put 10 minutes on me on that climb, and um, these guys eventually got that, but not in that one climb. <laughs> to go I didn't care if we were an hour behind or if I was a half an hour ahead I just wanted to get it done I mean, and counting every every foot to go every mile two miles to go one mile to go I mean it was just torturous I really turned myself inside out on that climb because I figured if I kept it close, I might be able to catch back up on the descent. But uh, I was, you know, just it was, it was pure suffering from there to the end. Suffering on uh, on column 
combine, you know, I, I just not used to the altitude, and, and uh, he was hanging tough. But you know, I guess the the distance and the fitness from the tour was enough. But that was just ridiculous. I mean, I don't know if I've suffered that much ever before. It, it looked to me like there was at least twice he got a little gap on you. Uh, were the, was that on the climbs or on the descents? Well, I, I crashed at the uh, top of the Sugarloaf climb. You know, I, I shouldn't have been leading. I was leading, and, and then all of a sudden I thought there was a right turn, and I hit my brakes, and I'd slowed down quite a bit, and uh, I believe it was Todd Wells hit me from behind and pretty hard. I haven't been hit that hard in a long time. So I was, you know, on the ground, and that, that hurt, but unfortunately it didn't do anything but just shake me up a little bit, and then... I think JHK, you know, he he ripped that downhill, and, I, and of course I was back from crashing. But we were in a group and we came back, so it was just this is ridiculous. Yeah. What, what happened? Let's to see Ryan Kapelski from Boulder, Colorado. Jeremy's also gonna break last year's record time. Welcome back, Jeremy. Tried to keep it pretty close and get try to catch up on the downhill, but it was uh, yeah, that guy was way stronger than I was from you know mile 85, 90 on. So Jeremy, I had I had a fantastic race. There's no, I couldn't have done any better, and so I'm I'm really happy. Happy and very proud to have broken the record. I think uh, you know partly because JHK was so strong and, and the other guys were so strong that I was able to break the record. Back up, best day on a bike. Oh. oh, it was one of my most painful days on a bike. She that told her to bike like she stood That hurt. Once. From start to finish, or well, yeah, I think 100 miles on it would be quite tough. Probably up till Columbine. Amanda was right on my tail. Kept trying to shake her, trying to shake her. She was right there. Then I had a really fast aid with. Greg practiced the little musette bag. I'd never done that before. And so then I just, I knew Columbine was the make or break and I just put the hammer down there and I think I got five minutes on the ascent, a few on the descent, and then I didn't look back and I started thinking about the course record after that. Stopped thinking about the other women and started thinking about the time. So, but yeah, hard. I've been cramping and yeah, I left it all out there. Nothing left. Rebecca's for Were you trying to keep up with, you know, a specific man or, you know, well, what were you doing just to pace yourself? Yeah, I was trying to, it was super windy today, tons of headwind like every direction. Um, so I was trying to catch on to people, but I was alone a lot of the time too, just putting my head down and <laughs> looking at the time and trying not to cramp. Actually, the last aid station at the very top of St. Kevin's, a mini aid, I got off my bike and my calf cramped and I like was on the ground writhing with a calf cramp. So from there on, I kind of been nursing a little bit of cramping, but yeah, I'm stoked to pulled it off.